Hello and welcome to the video. This video we will see how to create a design in Cadence using array. So we will be creating a array of NOT gate. So you can see this is my NOT gate or inverter. This is the symbol of the NOT gate. So we will be using this NOT gate symbol to create an array. So we will go to create instance. So this is my cell. Now I will choose the symbol and I want to create an array of four row and one column. So we can specify the number of rows and columns here. So I want to create an array of four rows and one columns. So we will see. So as you can see, it is creating an array of four rows. So in this way, we can easily create the array. So this is the complete schematic. So we can see that K3 and K2, K1 and K0 are the inputs and Y0, Y1, Y2 and Y3 are the outputs. Now to Y0 and Y1, I have applied a load capacitor of 1 picofarad and 2 picofarad. So these load capacitors will change the rise and the fall times of the output wave. And here also we can see that in K3 pulse, I am giving with the period of 100 nanosecond and a delay of 2 nanosecond rise time of 4 and fall time of 4 and the pulse width is 50 nanosecond. But K2, I am giving it as a simple pulse with, with a period of 100 nanosecond and pulse width of 50 nanosecond. So there is no delay time, rise time or fall time. So it is a ideal pulse. So uh, let us, uh, we see the simulation results. So we can see that Y3, uh, Y3, uh, first of all, we see Y2, that Y2 is almost ideal output because the K2, uh, which was the input was ideal. So there was no rise time or fall time. So it produces an ideal output. Now Y3, uh, because uh, in K3 we gave some delay. So that is why it takes some time to go to zero. And again, it takes some time to rise to one. So this is the rise time and that is due to the rise time in the input. And again, this is the fall time. It is due to the fall time in the input. Now, for K1, for K1, it is a simple pulse 100 nanosecond, 50 nanosecond and uh, K0 also is a simple pulse 100 nanosecond and uh, width of 50 nanosecond without any delay rise time or fall time. But here we have applied a load. The only difference is that this is a 1 picofarad load and this is a 2 picofarad load. So we can see the changes in the wave so you can see that y2 this was the ideal situation but why but y1 you can see how much time it has taken to fall to zero and y0 it it is taking uh, a lot of time to fall to zero again the y1 see how much time it is taking to rise to one and y0 again this time is increased by a lot because of increasing the load this is with one picofarad load and this is with Two picofarad load. So uh, in this way we can compare the output of my inverter because the inverter was same. The only thing that is different is that the input waves and the output load is different. Y2 is the perfect uh, output because the input was also perfect wave. It is a almost ideal case. In Y3 we have no output. Only is only thing is that the input has input has a delay and a rise time and a fall time. That is why. Mm, this wave is also having a finite rise time, finite fall time and Y1 the shape is distorted because of the load at the output. So Y1 it is little distorted at in Y0 it is fully distorted because of a 2 picofarad. So here we can compare the performance for different loads. Now we can see that this design of array uh, which is uh, I am using a 4 bit array. So it is looking too much complicated because we have to give three inputs and we are taking uh, four outputs. 
and so it is taking too much time to design because we have to create an uh, wire for each input wire for each output then we have to give vdd and vss so it is too much time consuming so cadence gives us an option to save the time as well as space uh, in designing so this is the same symbol of inverter that i am using so uh, press q i am going into properties now i will create it like a bus or like a vector so similarly uh, so we have created it a vector of 3 down to 0 so it means it is a 4 bit vector so this so this inverter is now having four four instances in this same area so you can imagine it to be like four inverters stacked one upon each other in the same area so it is like a 4 bit so everything here is now of 4 bit because we have created to be a 3 down to 0 so it means 4 bits so again we can give 4 inputs we can take 4 outputs so uh, let me give the inputs so input I am uh, giving as KOUSH 3 is to 0 so uh, these are the 4 inputs so this is the input so let me press f now we will want to create a wire so we will uh, we will be using the symbol of create a wide wire so as you can see now a blue color wire is now created Similarly for output, I will take it to be out 3 is to 0 means 3 down to 0. So this is the output. So again we will take a wide wire. So, so very easily and very fast we have created a four inputs for the inverter and four outputs for the inverter so this saves and a lot of space also the design is looking uh, really really good now you can compare this design uh, to this design this is looking so much hectic not even visible properly so we have to uh, zoom in to see the exact details and here we can easily see that this is a four bit inputs this and this are exactly the same only thing is that we are using the bus wire bus here instead of the array so this is the same uh, four array of inverters now we will create a symbol so this is the symbol for the four bit array so the you can see the name is not underscore four x this is the symbol so this symbol i created from this bus now we will see its or we will do the transient analysis so this is the schematic that i created for doing the transient analysis so this is the same symbol that we created so i have applied a input so this is the input and i have taken the output again like a bus so this P3 is to 0 is the name of this bus then I have created four outputs and I have named them individually so P3 is the first output P2 is the second output uh, P3 P1 is the third output and P0 is the fourth output so this is a 50 femtofarad capacitor this is a 20 uh, femtofarad capacitor this is uh, 20 and this is 10 this is 25 so the output is again taken like a bus input is like a single bit input so if we do the simulation then we can see how the outputs are uh, rising uh, with the time so uh, we can see uh, that the uh, let me check so the output with the highest capacitance is p0 so we can see that uh, p0 p0 which is the green has the highest rise time and uh, p3 
which is which has the lowest uh, capacitance value has the uh, minimum rise time or it is rising almost like a ideal wave so in this way we can see the effect of capacitance on the rise and fall times of the inverters so uh, this is, was a quick tutorial on uh, arrays and buses in cadence so these arrays uh, really help us uh, to uh, design a big circuits uh, very very fastly especially in uh, memory cells where we have a large memory array like 16 cross 256 or 64 cross 256 so in those kind of circuits uh, this arrays and buses are really useful so thank you please like and share the video and subscribe the channel